Hey there, I'm Lisa Doyle with Sereno Christie's International Real Estate, and I'm here with one of my most favorite lenders, Daryl Nelson. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, thanks for helping me and filling us in. So we wanted to share, there's an amazing brand new uh, first-time buyer program out that's, like Daryl was saying, <clears throat> one of the best first-time buyer programs that you've ever seen. Yeah, so, absolutely. So people need to see. Absolutely. So this program, <coughs> it's uh, through the state of California, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, as, as you were saying, it, in the, my 30 years in the business, I've never seen a program that is this good. Yeah. And really the main features that make it so good is that the state will give you up to, you're basically your 20% down payment. Right. And, uh, and it's what we, it's called the shared appreciation loan. So what that means is, is that there is no down payment. I mean, they make, they give you the down payment. Right. It, you pay that loan back, but you do not make any mortgage payments on it. And all you do is that when the property sells, you share whatever. If they gave you the twenty percent down payment, they share in twenty percent of the appreciation. Right. So, so that know. means you can own the house for five, ten years. You're never making a mortgage payment. And a lot of first-time home buyers, what they do is they don't normally have that twenty percent down payment. Right. Well, and that's the biggest challenge for families. Absolutely. What I've discovered in this area is, you know, real estate's expensive here. Right. And you know, buyers that are making good income is. Like preparing for that 20% down is Absolutely. hard. You know, Absolutely. Sometimes they're struggling with that. Yeah, and, and we'll get a lot of buyers, as you well know, that are coming up from you know, Silicon Valley. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe they've only been here in the, in the States for a couple of years, but they have great jobs. Yeah. And they're still saving for that down payment. Yeah. And, th and for example, in Contra Costa County, that income limit is $282,000. Right. Which in the past, most first time home buyer programs are very limited because they're capped at that just to be eligible for the program. Right. And then it's like you're eligible for the program, but values have gone up so fast, you can't buy that price. Exactly. Point. So right. this actually, the fact that there's um, there's a, like a, an openness to how much income they can make, 285000 right. most of the first-time buyer programs that I've seen, the family can't make over, say, 100000 Exactly. Well, in our area, that doesn't qualify right. you enough to purchase anything. So it's like, exactly. like this vicious circle. So, yeah, the fact that they can earn up to $282,000, sure. which is good for this area. Right. Right, so Santa Clara is like 300000 so I mean, the incomes are very high for our area. Yeah. And then in terms of the max of the program, uh, they go up to the maximum what we call the Fannie Mae loan amount. Right. And for Contra Costa County, that's a hundred, that's 1089000 So they'll give you your 20% down payment up to a loan amount of 1089000 Okay. It's ran by the state, so they post the interest rate. I was mm -hmm. shocked at how great the rates were relative to the program. Right. I thought the rate might be like in the high sixes, low sevens, and they have them like somewhere right around 6.375 or so. Okay. And again, that's with no money. They have to come up with their down payment. So here's I mean, my question. Their closing costs, but not the down payment. So here's my question, and I was sharing this loan with another family the other day, and we were talking about the the like the, the questions that they had. So mm -hmm. let's say rates fall in two years, which we right. expect. Can right. they refinance and keep the same? They can refinance. Okay. And so the they allow a one-time refinance. Okay. And what happens when you have a second mortgage, the lender has to agree to do what they call subordinate. Right. Because they have to agree to stay in that second position. And so they would, you, they are allowed one refinance. Okay. And the other thing too is, is that uh, there is, you know, normally you would pay the balance back when you refinance or <clears throat> you sell the house, but you can actually, it, based on the guidelines, it looks like you could pay it back at any time. Okay. So a strategy could be somebody might have that 20% down payment but if they're gonna give you the 20% down payment and you make no payments on it, right. you could take that money invest it. Right. You could take that money, or, or a lot of times people are taking their money out of their stock market right. or, or their stock. Well, now they're paying gains on that in order for it to do that. You can really kind of just get this 20% down from the state yeah. and then you know pick and choose as to when to maximize the sale of your stock but also the payback of the loan. No, this is great. And so, um, again, this is a first-time buyer program. It's called a Dream for All. It's only California. All only California. Um, yeah. And the, the good thing about it, too, is um, tell the, the viewers um, yeah. what constitutes a first-time home buyer. Yes. Because that's, so, that's a question. Yeah. And, and so the definition of a first-time home buyer is that they, they will normally ask for the last three years' returns. Right. And they simply want to make sure that there is no interest write-off during that three-year period. Right. So time. you haven't owned a home in three years. You haven't owned a home in three years. Okay. So what if yeah. you purchased a home years ago? Now you can still qualify as a first-time. Yeah. I, I've got a lady right now that's buying, a, you know, they, they're buying a very expensive property. And they're not doing this particular program. But they haven't owned a home since 2018. Right. 
by definition, they're a first time buyer. Exactly. So again, you guys, if you have any questions, I know Daryl has all the information. Yeah, absolutely. So we have a, a real handy little handout here. Mm -hmm. And if you have, if you want to go ahead and contact Lisa, mm -hmm. um, she has this and she can go ahead and send that out to you. And then we're happy here to answer any questions that you oh, might yeah. have. So to kind of recap, if you guys, you know, if you're looking to buy a home, you are have owned a home in three years, right. you're struggling to get that down payment, or you'd rather use the government's down payment, <laughs> yeah. um, you can get a free, basically 20% down payment um, towards the purchase of the right. house. And, yeah. you know, it's just a great way to buy your house that you haven't, you know, if you haven't owned a home in three years or more. Absolutely. Yeah. And for those for people just starting out, they have a great job, but they don't have the income. Exactly. So yeah. you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'm Lisa Doyle. And of course, this is Daryl Nelson with Diversified Capital. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. Take thanks, care. Guys.